dark outside. Brian, what time is it? Uh, the small hour hand is on the four, and the long minute hand is on the twelve. So that means it's only four o'clock. I think we'd better start our meeting. Otherwise, it might begin raining. But it was sunny just a few minutes ago. Yeah. This weather is becoming so strange these days. I know, it's not even the season for rain. Password. Climate. Spell it. C-L-I-M-A-T-E. Yay! Yay! Sorry I'm late. It looks like there's going to be a big storm soon. I almost didn't make it to our meeting. I understand you, Ashni. I almost got hit by a health on the size of a basketball. James, you have an overactive imagination. There's no such a thing as hailstones the size of a basketball. These days, you can expect anything from the weather. Okay, listen, what we're suffering from is called climate change. What? what? Climate change. What does that mean? I don't know exactly. I just hear my mom talking about it all the time. Something about not taking care of the environment, so the climate keeps changing. Not taking care of the environment. Does that mean that the environment is sick? I guess. What can we do to make it better? I don't know, Nita. I'm so scared. I wish it could stop. One day I'll become a doctor and fix this. speedy about the environment change. Yeah. yeah! No, I know what to do. Since the globe is sick, you can go to Dr. Charles, who will teach us and explain to us on what to do. Who's coming with me? I'll go. Me too. I am too coming. I think we should break into two. You go and ask Dr. Charles. We'll go and ask Speedy since he knows much about the environment. Good idea, Brian. We should be back by 5.30 p.m. That's when the long minute hand is on six and the short hour hand is in between five and six. Come on. Go, Junction Julius! Yay! Dr. Charles, we need your help. Children, what can I do for you? It's the environment. It's sick. Something called climate change. Sorry? We need you to make it better. What is it? What's the rush? Where are you going to? You know a lot about agriculture. Yeah, correct. You've learned more about the environment. Well, yes. So, uh, is there anything you'd like to learn? We need you to tell us ways to stop climate change. Now, children, you need to understand that I'm only a doctor. And that's why we've come to you. Because you can help stop climate change. Can't you? Yes, I can. I mean, yes, we can. I mean, as a matter of fact, everyone can help stop climate change. Even someone as young as you. Really? But how? By using the Earth's resources wisely. You see, by using Earth's resources unwisely, such as cutting down trees and burning them, creates carbon dioxide, which can cause climate change. And climate change can cause disasters such as drought. Let me try and simplify it. You see this plastic bag? If we were to go shopping today, our items are going to be put in a plastic bag such as this. And if we go again tomorrow, the same thing will happen. And when we get home, what do we do with the bag? But what's wrong with that? The problem is, a lot of energy is used to create such plastic bags. And in the process, a lot of carbon dioxide is expelled into the atmosphere, causing climate change. But what can we do instead? Now, supposing we are to go shopping with a bag such as, uh, 
a kiondo. <laughs> it may look funny, but by using a kiondo to shore can bring about climate change. But how? Because you can reuse the bag every time you go shopping. And it's not only by recycling plastic bags. We need to stop cutting down trees and also use chemicals and fertilizers that are kind to the environment. Okay? Do something, otherwise the earth will be finished. Dr. Charles, what can we do instead? We need to stop global warming. What global warming? Because of our actions, there's so many harmful gases in the atmosphere, and they trap the heat from the sun, causing the earth's temperature to rise. What does that mean? It means that uh, the weather will be very unpredictable, making it very difficult to grow crops and also get drinking water. There are so many things we can do to make sure that we stop climate change. Like what, Mas Pidi? Well, my good friend uh, told me that to save the environment, you need to use the three R's. These are the three easy steps. Reduce, recycle, reuse. Wow, I like that. It's pretty easy. Well, after you've watched television or uh, listened to your radio, you need to unplug it from the socket. That way you'll cut down on the power consumption. Or after you've peeled potatoes, or any other vegetables, don't throw away the peelings. You can use them as fertilizer or feed them to your cows, chicken, or rabbit. What about recycling? That's the easiest. There are many things we can do, like plant trees. Trees create oxygen, and they also attract rainfall, which fills our rivers. And everyone knows, water is life. <laughs> Each and every one of us has to play a role. Wow, Junction Juniors, let's go talk to the rest and stop climate change. Yeah. Thanks, bye, baby. Mas. Baby. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, bye, Mas. Okay, bye. <laughs> Junction Juniors, we need to plant more trees because it's the most effective measure against climate change. That's a good idea, Leleti. But do we have enough money to buy more seedlings? What about we ask the teachers at school to contribute? Yeah, that's a great idea. We can ask Teacher Pendo to help us start an awareness program for everyone in school. Yeah! yeah. Wait a minute. You all have good ideas, but do you think anyone is going to listen to us? We're just children. James, you can't talk like that. And see, if you don't stop this climate change, you don't complain when you're hit by another hailstorm. James, everyone has a role to play in climate change. Yes, that's what Dr. Charles told us. You have to have faith, James. And that means that all have a role to play in conserving the environment. Come on, Junction Juniors, come on, baby. Junction Juniors, I'm sorry to have doubted you. It's okay, at least we still know that whatever you do, even if how small it is, it can help making the world a better place. That's true. At least now we have an environmental club. Now you can learn more about the environment, plant trees, and even stop climate change. Junction Juniors forever! Yay!